Welcome back everybody. I'm today I'm going to show you how I'm making some dinner rolls. I will be using this for my instant yeast. And here I have two two and one fourth cups of flour, half teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of sugar. And here I have one fourth cup of water. Half cup of milk, you could use skim milk, 1%, anything you want. I have 1%. And two tablespoons of butter. Make sure your butter, this is not too hot, it will kill you, your yeast. Make sure it's warm. I microwaved it 50 seconds each time until it it felt warm to the touch. You don't want it too hot. Like I said, it'll kill your yeast. And I'm using um those stick butters. What do you call those, Bessie? Uh -huh. Can I throw the box out? There it is. Blue bonnet. I'm using blue bonnet butter. So I can just cut the little slab. I'm using two tablespoons. So what I'm going to do now, and I'll make sure the ingredients are in the bottom description. I will be adding all my ingredients. So here's the two and one fourth cups of flour. I'm using regular all-purpose flour. And two tablespoons of sugar, one half, half teaspoon of salt, and one packet of your instant. I'm using instant yeast. I'll be adding that to my mixing bowl. Come mix all your ingredients. Oh, you know what? Reverse. Hold on. So I'm just going to mix everything in here because I forgot, totally forgot. One step. Mm, excuse me. Make sure everything is nice and mixed. So, you need a one-fourth cup. Let's see, do I have one? So add one fourth cup to your bowl. Okay. And then you're going to add your wet ingredients to it. The high ones? Yeah. Yeah, I don't have one of those fancy blenders, but guess what? As long as it works, right? Start this baby up. Mix, mix, mix. Yeah, a little bit of flour at a time. But 
but I'll make sure I have everything down in the description bar for you. What I like about this recipe, you don't have to let everything like rise so long. Like when you use regular yeast. the rest. I'm sorry about that. This is like real nice heavy duty. Keep mixing to form to a ball. So it comes together. Depending what mixer you have, you know what I mean? This is what I have, so. Mixing that baby up. Have a kitchen aid, a few. I don't. That's what I have. Hey, it does what it gotta do, right? I paid a dollar for this thing. It works pretty good. It's pretty heavy duty. Nice and soft, sticky, that's how you want it. 
exactly how you want it. How sticky it is. So you want it. Push this back. Alright, guys. Are you want to do scrape it off? I'm not gonna flower here at all because I don't need it. Make sure your countertop's nice and clean. I washed mine, so... I need real quick. You can flower it, but I refuse, I, I refuse to, so I like mine sticky. Should be nice and flexy like that. You can put it back in the bowl if you want and let it rise for only like 10 minutes. That's all I would recommend. And I have buttered up an 8 inch square pan. Because you're going to cut these and make uh, 12 little, bo um, little, you know, little balls. Oh, here's my little thing I saved. Here it is. What did I show you? I used two teaspoons. But yeah. Nice and soft. That's how you want it. Look at that, how soft it is. Make it to a nice ball. And I'm going to cover it up right here. I'm just going to cover up right here. And then I'll be back in 10 minutes. So I'm going to show you my mixer. It was a Christmas gift. That's what it, what it is. Sunbeam Mix Masters. But you know what? It does what it has to do. It comes with for kneading dough, which I love. And you know what? It works good. I'm not sure how much it was, but I'm forever grateful that I have this. And it works just as good. Okay, guys. So it's been 10 minutes. Look at that baby. Nice and soft. Got my pan ready. So what I'm going to do is bring it to... Look how soft that is. I don't know if you guys can see how soft it is. So good. I'm going to break these to 12 little balls. Try to make them as even as possible. She's pretty well good. So, start mixing your your dough. Make them to little balls. Look at that, nice and smooth. I tuck it in. Usually what I do, I just tuck it right in. And give it a nice little ball. And there you have it, little ball. Put it right into the cap.
And there you have it. I'm going to finish all these and I'll show you when it's done. Okay, everyone. So, I have my dinner rolls, my little balls. I made them into little balls ready. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to let these rise for at least half an hour to an hour. That's why I use the quick rise because instead of me waiting for it to rise like an hour or two and then put it in here, do whatever I got to do, then let it rise another no this is quick simple easy one two three so what I'm gonna do this do is to make it quicker so it could rise quicker I take like a cup or a bowl of water put it in the microwave boil it at least two minutes remove it and put these in there covered up and it helps it rise quick and then after that all you have to do is pop it in the oven at 375 degrees for I would say 15 minutes 15, 6, depending on your, how your oven is. Mine is, heats up pretty a lot, so I leave at least 15 minutes. But usually it's 20 minutes. But yeah, I'll show you guys when these have risen. And they're ready to go in the oven, and then I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm going to show you the results. Ta -da! They have tripled in size, or doubled in size, as you can see. So what I'm going to do now is, oh my god, it looks so amazing. I'm going to preheat my oven at 375 degrees and I'm going to bake these babies for at least 15 minutes and I'll be right back alright welcome back my buns are done look how beautiful they look look at that oh yummy yummy and they're nice and soft they're delicious so I melted some butter and I'm going to put butter all over them I only left them 15 minutes. If you want them a little more golden, you could leave them like a little more golden brown. You could leave them longer. Usually, usually was it 20 minutes? But I left them 15 because I didn't want them too overly done. But 15 is pretty good. But if you want them real nice, 20 minutes. Well, I'm gauzing it with butter. Look at that. Oh. It came out really good. I love that instant yeast because you don't have to wait for it to rise twice that. And you know how with regular yeast. I'm putting some butter on the side too as well. Mmm. -mm -mm. What I like about making these is your house smells so delicious. So delicious. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> but yeah there you have it dinner rolls baby dinner rolls these are good for any occasion I like making these in the winter time fall time your house smells so delicious but yeah guys there goes my buns let's take one now let's check this baby out oh it's so soft look at that Oh, it's perfect. 15 minutes was perfect. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, careful. They're hot. But look at that. Look at that, guys. Look at that fluffiness. Ooh, careful. Fail. Oh, it's so fluffy. It's just so hot. Let me get a fork. Let me show you guys. Look at that. How fluffy that is. Look at that. So soft. Like literally frozen so hot. Let me see. Oh, look at that, guys. Look at that. You guys have to try this recipe out. And trust me, you won't fail. It won't, it won't be no fail. It's so easy. Easy, easy. Mmm. Mmm. Look at that, guys. Look at that. So soft. Well, I hope you enjoy my recipe. My video, please like and subscribe, and I'll be making more videos for you guys. Hope you guys are having a good day, and peace out.